Adorn Zombichu's channel, who would have thought? Hey guys, Avenue Door for you today. Now, the inspiration for this thing, uh, well, I actually built this thing a while ago while we were designing a Crimson Stone Nether Hub, and we have yet to finish that, by the way. Uh, but Engine wanted everything to be slabbed, so Pigmen couldn't spawn, and we couldn't have another flame incident, and you guys don't know about that, but it may slightly involve Pigmen. But anyways, uh, basically this door is slabbed, and he, he didn't want it to be, like, cramped like that like if the the slabs are to be on the top like that and then you would only have a too high space and it would feel like just really claustrophobic and none of us really like that at all so what he did was he raised it one higher and that's what this door is it's basically a three tall because two plus two halves equals three three tall slab door thing that's what i'm going to call it uh, you guys call it something different i don't really know what to call it and uh, basically that's how it opens and closes now this door is basically just one giant pisnik center pushing up and one giant pisnik center pushing down and it doesn't uh, have to only be a slab door it's actually pretty easily turned into a portcullis or a two by two glass and i think i'm going to be showing you guys how to do that on the screen right about now if you guys want to do that now basically uh this entire stuff over here is not necessary pisnik center goes up and then a whole bunch of logics over here happen, Pissing Center pushes down, Double Extender happens, and that just pushes it all back down to down here. So I'm going to get started with the tutorial, and uh, we could just take it from there. Alright, so the minimum units you need for this is two, and I say that because this is actually really easily expandable. As you see, it's just dust, 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 and this repeater, you just it's basically just a pattern. You have two dust repeater and then more dust more dust repeater more dust more dust repeater and it just keeps going on like that it's really simple uh, to expand it and all the redstone is in these two units over here and that's why I'm saying you need two at the minimum so to start it off I'm just gonna be making the bottom extender first let me just bridge out get rid of that TNT uh, you don't need to know why I have that in there so basically you're gonna need uh, four extenders like that and then I'm just gonna be placing my dust to power them right now block block dust dust block block dust dust and then to start things off we're gonna be making a torch tower and that just keeps going up and up and up Hold on, give me a second to catch up with my words there we go and there we go now you're gonna need four blocks on top of that as well four blocks for a quad extender who would have thought now I'm gonna be making my floor now and I'm going to be doing that out of stone slabs and doing redstone in quartz slabs just so you see the contrast and stuff and then excuse all the noise that's happening outside right now because right at this moment the entire world is like screw you Zombichu we're going to be flying planes over your house we're going to be having search helicopters over your house we're going to be having yard men and garbage men come to your house it's just at this minute in time that the world hates me but anyways uh, you're gonna need to have a normal piston there and that just goes up into a cauldron and this just carries the signal up to the top and that's where all the fancy stuff happens so cauldron there and then we're gonna need to come up a little bit and there's our normal piston and you may be thinking uh, that we would do this and have dust there but we're not we're gonna have this cauldron go into a block like that and that just goes into a hopper dropper monostable so where's my hopper there it is and then hopper dropper monostable initiated and we're gonna need a comparator there going into a block and that goes into a sticky piston that's holding another cauldron and if I can st that that just pisses me off when you when you scroll all the way to the bottom and you let go it's like, hey, you want to go to your survival inventory? No, I don't want to go to my survival inventory. I just kind of want to just stay in the inventory I'm at and just scroll to the bottom if you would be so nice. So, yeah, uh, end Zombichu rant. But anyways, uh, here's time for a really newbie monostable. And that just goes into a repeater on two like that. And I'm actually going to be placing my pistons now so you know what the hell I'm doing. Uh, there we go. Double piston extender right there. And then normal pistons up here and hold on there we go and to kick things off we're gonna need dust there and let's do one more newbie thing we're gonna be using sand 
Uh, I guess it's not, it's not like we're using sand to push blocks up. It's sand and redstone, which isn't too bad, I guess. Um, but just the fact that it's sand kind of irks me a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to make myself feel better about using sand in this creation at this point. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Dust going into that. And then we're going to need a block there and another hopper dropper monostable. So dropper and our hopper right there. And that just goes into a comparator. And then both this block down here and the comparator are going to be powering that sticky piston with a redstone block and we're going to need a half slab there uh, basically you're going to need to go in between your inventories a lot and uh, this actually needs to be a half slab as well so it wouldn't bud any pistons or anything or create a clock or something so that needs to be a half slab and then over here just have another half slab and this just prevents the uh, the repeater from powering itself which we do not want because then it would never ever turn off ever so uh, we're going to need another sticky piston there with a redstone block and that just goes into our repeater which powers the double piston extender so if we were to hold on give me a second uh, if we were to make a hopper clock and this will just power this cauldron when it goes up or this piston to push the cauldron down when it goes up since um when this piston extends like that uh this can't push down so we basically need a clock to tell it hey you can push down and stuff like that so you aren't useless uh so that's what this hopper clock does and you need a repeater on top of that one and then replace the comparator on that one and hopper clock initiated and basically when it's done pushing down this dust will lock the hopper clock so it would stop clocking and just stay in the one that's not powering the piston so i believe everything is in order except it is not because i forgot uh dust on this layer yeah dust on this layer <laughs> i'm just trying to figure myself out at this moment um it's early in the morning and I'm tired and this is this is not high zombie too tired that's late at night tired this is like I have no idea what's going on and I don't know who I am or what day it is or anything that that's th that's morning tired for zombie too. night tired is one by one seamless trapdoor tired where I just am just it, it seems like I'm high except I'm not so, so yeah, uh, that, that's how you differ differentiate between the two zombie two tires. And basically, to extend this uh, repeater thing out, you're going to need, like, uh, that's a block there. So basically, every three, you need a repeater block, dust block, and then, like, one, two, three. And, and you're starting to see the pattern now, I'm hoping. Uh, otherwise, you need to go back to school and kindergarten and learn to pattern. Uh, but yeah, you just extend your pattern out like that, and that just goes infinitely however long you want it to be. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and me being early morning tired and having no idea what's going on. So yeah, this is giving me OCD, and until next time, goodbye.